Hi ladies and gents, my name is Alvin and back again with another whiteboard video. Today I'm going to share with you the basic functions of macronutrients which are your carbs, proteins and fat. Let us begin. The first macronutrients that we're going to touch is carbohydrate. Now carbohydrate has many functions but the main function you need to know is that it provides our body energy. Now all carb source are ranked according to their GI value. Now GI stands for glycemic index, which is the effect on raising our blood sugar level. All right. Now high GI carb source raise our blood sugar level rapidly when we consume them. On the other hand, low GI carb source stabilize our blood sugar level, which is something that what we want. All right. Now, High GI carb sauce are basically white rice, white bread, cornflakes. These are all, we heard the term, simple carbohydrate. Those are all high GI carb sauce. Low GI carb sauce are what we, what we refer to as complex carbohydrates. Brown rice, oatmeal, whole wheat bread, whole wheat pasta, sweet potatoes. All those fall under low GI. We would want to consume most of our carbohydrates from carb source that has low GI value. So the second macronutrients we're going to talk about is protein. Now if your goal is to build muscle, protein is going to help you to build new muscle tissues. All right? For anyone else and those who are not going to the gym, protein is going to help you to repair and maintain your current tissues. All right? And you would always want to have sufficient protein in your body to make sure that you always maintain positive protein balance. Now, you will always want to be in a positive protein balance because being in a negative protein balance means you're, you are basically not having enough protein in your body. So what's going to happen is that your body is going to tap into your muscle tissues and use it as energy instead. So that's how you lose muscles. No, your body is not going to tap into fat because tapping into protein is so much easier for the body to find energy source. Now, most Malaysian diet lacks protein. If you look at nasi lemak, the only protein source, and if you're lucky enough, is half of the full boiled egg. If you look at banana leaf rice, the majority is your rice which is carb sauce and the only protein you get from banana leaf rice is a small piece of ikan tenggiri or a plate of chicken curry as a Malaysian we need to increase our protein intake and we can do so with different different protein sauce such as chicken tuna all kinds of meat fish and even egg next macro we're going to talk is fat now, fat is a great energy source. It's very dense in calories. One gram of fat is nine calories. Now, our body will always prefer to utilize carbs and proteins before it actually uses fat as energy. All right. Second rule of fat is that it absorbs nutrients. So certain nutrients like vitamin A, D, E, and K are fat soluble nutrients. So it needs fats in our body to actually absorb and utilize them. Very important for overall health and especially in fat loss. Now, there's two categories of fat. There is good fat and bad fat. Good fats are unsaturated fats. Olive oil, all kinds of nuts, fish, and peanut butter. Butter also falls in good fat. And bad fats are basically our trans fats, margarines, all kinds of fried food and a lot of pastry has very high trans fat in it all right if you there's this controversy between butter and margarine always go for butter because butter is good fat so if you are using margarine switch it over to butter sum it up that is the main function of our macronutrients carbs proteins and fat now in your diet you should have a balanced portion of all three macros, carbs, proteins, and fat. This is the end of our video. I hope you like it. If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.